Hello and welcome to this tutorial presenting the highlights of Rapid Plan 3.11, the latest version of Invariance traffic control planning software. The headline feature in this release is our new rich text editor, which allows you to apply advanced text formatting to your plan content. But as always, we also have a bunch of smaller additions that will make your work more efficient. For a full change log, please click this icon in the new section of the welcome screen. Let's start with going over a few simple tips and tricks on how to utilize new functionality in Rapid Plan 3.11. One of the first things you're likely to notice is uh, that in this release all menus now present keyboard shortcuts associated with individual commands. Uh, this is a good opportunity to learn what shortcuts are available and if you aren't already using them then they're probably worth taking note of as they can significantly increase your productivity. Uh, please remember that all shortcuts in Rapid Plan are customizable in the Keyboard Shortcuts Preferences panel. Uh, this lists all application commands and lets you change the default shortcuts as well as create new ones. One shortcut you probably won't consider changing is Control V for Paste. In Rapid Plan 3.11, the paste command just got a little smarter in that it'll automatically detect when you're pasting a website URL or an email, in which case it will be pasted as a hyperlink object instead of regular text. Hyperlinks are clickable, both when you're editing your TCP in Rapid Plan as well as on exported PDFs, so they're a great way to make your contact information interactive. Uh, different formats are detected, from a simple domain.com text to a full URL like for example, the ones you can generate from the location menu uh, for your plan location. Clickable hyperlinks are great, but when your plan gets printed on paper, you now have an even better option. In Rapid Plan 3.11, we've added a new tool for presenting QR codes. Uh, you'll find it in the Tools palette under the Annotations category. Uh, so in case you're not familiar with um, QR codes, uh, they're basically graphical representations of text that are designed to be easily decoded with mobile devices and they're typically used for encoding hyperlinks, like the QR code I'm creating now uh, for www.invariant.com. Once the object is created, uh, you can always uh, change the encoded URL from the properties panel Uh, or by double-clicking the object itself. Now here's another cool usage example. Let's create a code uh, by going to the plant's location menu and copying the Google Street View link. Say I place uh, a QR code with this link next to the plant title box and anyone can simply point their phone camera to the QR code and instantly see the worksite location in Google Street View. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is the Dimensions Input tool when you're drawing new objects. Uh, the tool itself is not new and it was presented in detail in one of the previous videos. One of the most commonly used features uh, is the ability to specify a fixed distance for the segment you're drawing. Uh, simply press D for distance, then type a value in on-site units, hit enter to confirm and note how the object now snaps to the specified distance value. What's new in Rapid Plan 3.11 is that Dimensions Input was uh, made compatible with geometry fitting. In other words, if points at both ends of the segment are snapped to the same geometry, then the segment is drawn along that geometry. Uh, but if you add Dimensions Input to that, uh, then its length uh, will be fixed by the specified distance value. In real life scenarios, uh, this feature will typically be used to draw fixed length uh, objects along curved road geometries. Uh, so say I need to mark a, uh, an 80 meter long lane closure along this windy road. Uh, using dimensions input together with uh, geometry snapping allows me to draw this with high precision uh, and essentially just a few clicks. Moving on, we'll briefly discuss improvements to image georeferencing in Rapid Plan. Uh, first of all, uh, georeferenced image is a new plan export format, so anything you draw in Rapid Plan uh, can be exported as a zip package 
containing an image and its associated georeference data in world file format which can be uh, then uh, imported to other CAD-like software aware of content location and scale. It is worth noting that that non-north aligned content is also supported. Uh, this means you can export plans with non-zero bearing or rotated print regions and uh, they will all get georeferenced correctly. It is also possible to use RapidPlan to georeference existing imagery. Uh, previous versions had a dedicated dialog for this, but in 3.11 uh, the feature was redesigned and based on importing the image to the plan editor and then positioning and aligning uh, the image against the underlying base map. Uh, so let's go through this process uh, with an example image that I have uh, that shows a recreational area next to a small town in southern Spain. In order to georeference the image, uh, I've imported it to the plan of the same area and I now need to make sure it's aligned to match the underlying base map. I can either do it manually by rotating and stretching uh, the image as required or I can use the fit objects tool. Um, how the tool works was discussed in detail in the previous tutorial for RapidPlan uh, 3.10 but basically all you have to do is pick uh, two pairs uh, of matching points on the object you're fitting and on the plan and then the tool will automatically align the object to the plan for you. So I've picked a corner of the parking lot and a corner of uh, the football field here. Hit enter to confirm and the image is now aligned on top of my base map. Once we've confirmed that the image is in place and matches the underlying base map, we can right click on it and select save as georeferenced image. Uh, based on our positioning, uh, the georeference data for the original image is calculated, then both are packaged into a single zip file. Uh, please note that in this case we're not exporting uh, the actual plan, but georeferencing an existing image. Which, which means that the saved package will only contain the original image, not any other content we had on the plan we used for georeferencing. Okay, let's move on to the headline feature of RapidPlan 3.11, uh, the rich text editor. Uh, we've had a number of requests from customers who wanted to be able to use advanced text formatting uh, for their plan notes directly in RapidPlan. So we're more than happy to be able to announce the new tool that provides this functionality. Uh, you'll find it in the tools palette under the text category. The editor is a simple dialog whose toolbar exposes all the basic text and paragraph formatting features you'd expect, plus a few more advanced buttons in the expandable panels. Uh, additionally, you can embed images and tables of different dimensions uh, in your content. Let's start with something really simple. Type some content in, uh, then hit OK to uh, create the object. Note how by default object dimensions are calculated automatically to fit the content, but you can use control points to adjust object width. If the content doesn't fit, paragraphs will uh, automatically wrap text and expand downwards. Uh, alternatively, if you need full control over the size of the object, uh, you can disable the auto height property and you can then manually uh, set the dimensions of the object box. To edit the content again, uh, simply uh, double click on the object to bring up the editor, but this time uh, let's look at a slightly more advanced example that contains an image, uh, a table uh, and a bullet point list. All the editor objects are dynamic, uh, so you can click to show their formatting options, uh, for example with the image you can resize it or change alignment. Uh, table borders can be dragged to adjust uh, cell sizes. Uh, then each cell 
uh, also shows the menu that allows you to add and remove rows uh, and columns as well as split and merge cells uh, to create complex and flexible table layouts. Uh, one thing to note about the rich text object is that the content in the editor will not always look exactly uh, the same as in the actual object. The main reason for this is that the content bound sizing uh, in the editor depends on the size of the editor window. While on the plan, uh, the rich text object bounds are specified with control points as we discussed before. Other than creating the rich text content manually with the editor controls, it is also possible to paste external content from uh, applications like Microsoft Office or Google Docs. I've just copied a formatted table from Excel and if I now paste it to RapidPlan, the rich text editor pops up and I can paste it here to preserve the original formatting. Any external HTML based uh, content can be pasted but please remember that RapidPlan is not a full-blown HTML web browser, so we can't guarantee that all external content will be rendered correctly. Uh, in case you uh, do run into, into any issues, uh, please try to recreate the same content using the functionality provided by the rich text editor. Uh, this Excel table does work fine though, and as you can see, the object correctly preserves formatting like individual cell border thickness. Overall, the new rich text tool will definitely allow you to make your on plan notes look professional and I would also suggest that you consider using this tool to create your custom title boxes. Okay, before we wrap up, one last feature I want to mention is the reduced eye strain mode of uh, the plan editor, which you can enable by going to preferences, basic options and adjusting the properties in the appearance section. Uh, the preview here shows how the editor will adjust its color scheme. There's two options, nightlight that allows you to make the color scheme warmer and then there's the additional option for inverting colors uh, if you prefer working over a black background. Uh, any changes you make to the settings are applied to your plan editors automatically. Obviously the color scheme is only adjusted for the editor view so when you print or export your plans they will preserve their original colors. And this wraps up our overview of new features in RapidPlan 3.11. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and as always if you have any comments, questions or suggestions feel free to get in touch with our Invariant Technical Support Team. Thanks for watching. Bye.